Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Of AJ Say Prep. I'm gonna brighten my screen so you can actually see my face. Um, same team, yeah, same team. I'm actually going to be using the next team shortly. Um, I figured out a really perfect spread for Porygon 2. Um, if I can think of it offhand, I do believe it was 252 HP, 236 defense. 20 special defense and uh, relax nature it survives every single attack that's super effective in stab with the exception of choice banded man chow's high jump kick that's not bad that's really not that bad and that includes adaptability lucario that includes mega heracross yeah it's pretty impressive all right so let's look at this team it looks like we've got kangaskhan weavile uh, Thunderous, Landorus, Charizard, and uh, Cresselia. So, Binette might be a good start, but eh, not really. I'm kind of a little worried about doing that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with Porygon 2 and Togekiss. Um, I'm going to bring Rotom Heat in the back and Metagross. That was pretty simple. Um, the reason I started off with those two. Actually, ah, it's too late. I just realized, you know, I probably want to start off with Rotom Heat instead. Uh, whoopsie. Because a lot more things were weak to Rotom Heat than Togekiss. Oh well! <laughs> Oops, I made a mistake. Um, but yeah, that EV spread for Porygon 2, it's just, it's just gorgeous. Um, so it looks like it's going to be Charizard and Kangaskhan, and that's kind of why I hope, had hoped. That's why I wanted to start off with the damn... Um, the damn Rotom. Oh well, I'm gonna go for Trick Room here. Couldn't be any better. And I'm gonna go for Air Slash on the Chazad. For the Chazad. I'm gonna hit the Chazad here. Um, it is gonna be Y, which I expected. So I'm expecting a Heat Wave fake out combo, but who are you gonna fake out? If you fix out the Porygon 2, you know the Charizard will take a hit. Uh, if you fix out the port, uh, the, 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 um, why did he not Mega Evolve? Oh, duh, because it's not a regular, it's not a Mega Kangaskhan. Huh. Um, Air Slash is going to do some decent damage, I think. Oh, that's more than half. Okay, I can take that. Um, but that Heat Wave did so much to Porygon 2. That's not good, actually. That's really not good. Um, I'm going to protect Porygon 2 here. And I'm going to switch into Rotom Heat. I really should have started with Rotom Heat, to be quite honest with you. That was a really dumb play on my part. I didn't realize until afterwards, you know. I did not realize. Oh, that's not good. Because I, I could have taken out that Charizard there. Taken the, uh, the fake out. Mm, 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 mm. Sometimes, you know, I just kind of blank a little bit. Um, he does go for low kick. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to swap out my Porygon 2. Um, for Togekiss, I'm realizing, you know, Togekiss isn't as useful as I thought it would be. Um, and I'm just going to Thunderbolt the Charizard here. I don't want to lose my Porygon 2, Porygon 2, because it's going to be pretty important. Um, so he goes for Heat Wave again. Rotom avoids, that's actually really good for me. Um, Porygon 2, actually Togekiss is going down here. Damn, damn, I did not, I did not play this well at all. Um, he goes for double edge. That's not going to do too much because you're just a regular Kangaskhan. Which is weird. I don't understand that. Um, I do get the Thunderbolt off. That does take it out. Hallelujah. Um, I think what I'll do here is bring in Metagross. I think Metagross is actually probably my better switch in here. Uh, I can protect with the Rotom. As long as I can take out this um, Kangaskhan. Now, he does start off with... Uh, Landorus. Um, it's not bad if I can get Trick Room up at some point. I need to take out that Kangaskhan for that, but um, I'm going to hammer arm the Kangaskhan. I'm going to protect here. I don't want to switch in my uh, Porygon 2 because, you know, it's, it's going to go down from a double hit. Um, but hammer arm should take out. It's a regular Kangaskhan, you know. Um, it should take it out unless he switches, which would be kind of sucky, but I don't see any fire type moves coming from this team, so I'm pretty solid in the sun here. Um, he's probably going to go for Rock Slide, which would kind of suck. 
because he might flinch me, and I know that's going to happen. He goes for U-turn. Okay, uh, not bad at all. I'm fine with that. That does a lot. Oh, that was a crit, uh, but you probably banded. I know it's neutral, but you probably banded there. Um, although you were, f I don't know, I don't know Landorus's base speed. I'll be quite honest, I really don't. Um, so it looks like it's Thunderous. Uh, he does, he does um, double edge into the Rotom. So this should take it out. That's all I needed. Yep, good. Um, now, question: How do we plan on beating the Landorus? We said that he was pretty much banded. I think. My best play is to have a safe switch into Porygon 2 so I can get the Trick Room up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Zen Headbutt the, um, the Thunderous and I'm going to HP Ice the um, Landorus. Now I'm ex fully expecting the Thunderous to Thunderbolt the Rotom. Rock Slide. Oh, that doesn't miss. Okay, so that, that will take out my Rotom. Not going to do a lot to my Metagross, so he's probably going to Thunderbolt the Metagross instead. Um, I don't see him doing anything else. I don't think he gets Shadow Ball. Um, yeah, Thunderbolt right here. I should take this relatively well. Oh god, that wasn't relatively well at all. And we flinched. Of course. Well, I can't say I didn't see that coming, but that was kind of my fault for starting off with the wrong Pokemon. If I started off with Rotom Heat, I would have 100%. Oh, we get Intimidate, though. That's actually really good. It's actually... Um, I think my best play, Bullet Punch, because I don't have Protect on this Metagross, and Trick Room. Bullet Punch and Trick Room. Bullet Punch and Trick Room. Now, the Bullet Punch won't do very much, because it's a Thunderous, obviously. Um, he is going to go for Rock Slide. Now, this shouldn't kill my Metagross. No, no, it doesn't. Hopefully he doesn't flinch my Porygon too. Um, he's going to Thunderbolt the Metagross. I'm going down. Uh, my only way to win... I don't have any recovery, so he, so the, the, the Landorus will definitely be able to take me out um, pretty easily. So I'll at least, at the very least, try and take out um, Thunderous here. At the very least. Um, I won't definitely take it out, but I'll probably take it out. No, I'm not going to do that much damage. Never mind. Yeah, that was that was definitely that was definitely too much for me. Um, he's actually going to Thunder Wave me. I mean, honestly, you really could have just gone for rocks, like U-turn and Thunderbolt, and you would have taken me out. I, I really don't understand that. And we get a crit. Beautiful. I did not expect to get a crit there. Awesome, awesome. So um, he's going to go for Rock Slide. How much is this doing? Not enough. Uh, depending on how this pans out, we might be able to come back. We might be able to come back. Um, because he's not doing a lot. He might be scarfed. And we do about three hit KO. Um, I could probably take another one of those. Yeah, we can take another one of those. Um, so basically the only way we can win is if we get a freeze. Which obviously is not going to happen. Um, so, or he misses. If he misses this, this, um, rock slide. Oh, we get a paralyze. Actually. Oh, okay. But can we, can we take this? One more hit. That's all I'm asking for. No. Okay. Well, that, that was, that was my, um, that was my fault. I should have started off with Rotom Heat. I don't know why I started off with Togekiss. Togekiss really wasn't going to be useful in that battle. That was unfortunate. But, you know, stuff like that does happen. You know, you can't control bad plays all the time. I mean, you, you can. You can. You definitely can. All right. So let's move on to another battle. Um, yes, I want to continue battling. I do. Uh, that, I, I'm just, I'm glad I didn't lose because of hacks. I'm glad I lost because I know, I know why I lost. If I started off with the Rotom Heat there, much better choice. Because um, that actually would have put my opponent in a really, like, tight spot because you know you've got the Porygon 2 setting up Trick Room and you've got a Rotom Heat so he's like okay do I fake out the Rotom Heat or do I fake out the Porygon 2 and no matter his decision the next turn I would just be able to, to clean from there um, so it looks like we've got Thunderous, Aegislash, uh, Ferrothorn, Politoed, Toxicroak and uh, Swampert so I'm going to start off with Porygon 2 that is definitely our best play hopefully we don't like Trace Swift Swim or something like that which is impossible, so that, I'm just going to stop talking from there. 
And um, I do think Togekiss would be a strong lead if it wasn't for the Aegislash. And the Thunderous. Actually, it's probably not that great of a lead. Um, I'm going to start off with Rotom Heat. I know there's a, it, it's a pretty big rain team. I know that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Scrafty in the back, because Scrafty will be relatively useful. Not really, actually. Um, should I just start off with Binette? Binette might actually be a pretty solid lead. Um, considering, yeah, you know what? I'm going to start off with Binette, because that gives me some Will-O-Wisp power. Um, I definitely want to bring Togekiss, because it is going to be useful if we can clear the rain. And, um, I think Rotom Heat's going to be pretty useful, too. There's a lot of things weak to Rotom Heat. Alright. And I don't want to bring Metagross, because while it pretty much walls that Toxicroak to death, it's not going to really be doing too much damage to the rest of the team. Um, it could just, like, one-shot the Toxicroak pretty easily, but so can Togekiss, you know? And then Trick Room, I'll outspeed it, I think. I actually don't know Togekiss. I don't know, oh, yeah. I don't know Toxicroak speed. Yeah, so um, hopefully this goes a little bit better than the last episode, last battle. Um, I think with the dual Trick Room lead, it's gonna be kind of challenged, especially if he starts off with um, Thunderous, and it's not gonna be Thunderous. Okay, um, I'm fine with this. This works really well for me. Um, it's probably gonna protect with the Swamp Hurt. And I don't know. I, I really don't know what he's going to do with the, um, we got Drizzle. Great. Just what I needed. Um, not that we really would get a good set there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Mega Evolve. And I'm going to just Protect here. I think that's probably my best play. Yeah, I'm going to Protect. We'll see. What, I, I think the Swampert's just going to Protect itself. I'm going to burn it next turn and get a little, um, try attack off on the Politoed. I think Binette's going to go down to a hydro pump I've never tested that out but I don't think Binette's really bulky <laughs> pretty sure it's not that bulky I have 252 HP investment but obviously it ain't gonna be doing very much taking very much especially in the rain unless it's a support polytoad which is possible which is possible um, so I'm gonna mega evolve here I'm gonna protect like I said uh, I just want to avoid a turn of damage because either he's gonna double attack the Porygon 2, which he's not. I figured he'd protect to get that Swift Swim boost. Um, I, what I'm figuring is he's going to go for the Porygon 2 to try and take it out. You know? Um, actually, no, I was wrong there. From previous experience, I do believe I can take a Scald from a, from a Politoed in the rain. It's not a Hydro Pump. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try attack the Politoed and I'm going to burn the Swampert. That's what I really love about um, Binette. It, it's just, really, it's solid. It's really solid. Um, I'm expecting an earthquake. No, he's gonna withdraw. What are you gonna withdraw into? Aegis Slash. That's actually pretty solid for me. Oh, but you avoid. Oh, that's not good. Um, if I can get rid of Politoed. Oh, we paralyzed it. That's not good for me. That is not good for me. Uh, depends on how much this Skull does. Oh! Oh, okay, that's actually fine for me. Um, what am I going to do here? I can Shadow Claw the Aegis Slash to get rid of it. It's probably going to be faster than me, though. To be quite honest with you. Uh, I'm going to try attack the Politoed. Um, do I want to burn the Aegis Slash? I don't know what this Aegis Slash wants to do. Um, who do I have in the back? If Rotom Heat and Togekiss, both who do not like Aegis Slash... But I don't think I'm going to outspeed it. That's the thing. I, for, I don't know the speed tiers yet for this team. I haven't gotten that far in the development. Like, I haven't, like, sat down and really, like, looked at this team yet. It's been a while. I really should do that. Um, should I just chance it? I mean, I know I'll survive a Scald unless he gets a high roll. I'm going to chance it. I'm going to Shadow Claw the Aegis Slash. I'm really hoping I'm right here. No. Please tell me you're not going for Shadow Snake. Oh my god, you're going for Shadow Sneak. That burn so mattered. Uh, actually, I guess it didn't. Oh my god, it so did. Oh my god. I mean, it didn't in the long run because Shadow Sneak plus Scald would have taken me out regardless of the burn. Because, uh, you know, I was on the cusp of a two hit KO. Um, but this kind of does put me in a bad position because this Politoed is, in fact, paralyzed. 
Oi, um, I could just bring in Togekiss here. And just kind of air slash it. I can't bring in Rotom, to be quite honest with you. Um, I really can't. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Trick Room with my Porygon too, because this Polito is going to be a problem. And I'm going to protect with my Togekiss. Because, yeah, this Polito is going to be a problem. Um, he's scalding the Porygon too. That, that's really unfortunate that I paralyzed him. That really did come in handy for him. Um, and I'm going to go for Trick Room. I want to get rid of my own Trick Room. I need to. Uh, let's see. Rain... No, no rain. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try attack an air slash. I should survive a flash cannon. And I should be faster than this Aegis Slash if well, it went for Shadow Snake. That's true. Um Damn, that really just screwed me over that paralyzed. Really did, cause damn. Uh so I'm gonna go for air slash here. I don't know how much this is gonna do. It does decent damage. It does decent damage. Aegislash does go for Flash Cannon. Um, I should take that. Did that crit? No, wow. What port what Aegislash are you running? Jeez. And we get the flinch. Good. Um, so he's probably gonna go for Shadow Sneak. Um, so I'm just gonna protect here. I need I just need to get rid of the Politoad so the rain doesn't come back. You know? Um, because I do have that. Um, Rotom Heat in the back. So as long as Politoed can't come back in and set the set the rain, um, Rotom can do some good stuff there. Uh, so he's going to bring out the Toxicroak, who can survive pretty easily. Um, I'm just going to go for Tri Attack on it because uh, I can't touch the Age of Slash. Um, it's still gonna, I'm going to go for Flamethrower. That could be helpful just in case, you know. Um, but he's gonna go for Shadow Snake. I, I got outplayed there, and that Paralyze on the Toge on the um, Politoed ended up being pretty unfortunate for me. Um, so he goes for Drain Punch. I should take that pretty well. I do take that pretty well. Um, I'm gonna go for Tri Attack, like I said. Hopefully the rain clears here. Uh, I don't think it is, because it would have gone away there. Um, okay, so I have... Rota, we could probably take out the Toxic Croak with a Thunderbolt. We just have to worry about, um... Actually, I could probably go for Trick Room here. Uh, I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. I went for Protect on the Porygon too, because he's probably gonna Drain Punch me. You know? Um... I don't have anything for that Swampert, though, so that's kind of the game there. Um... I do outspeed, so that's good. That doesn't do very much, though. I'm not happy with that. Um, and he does Shadow Ball into Porygon 2. Okay, so now that the rain is clear, now that it is clear, um, I don't really have anything. I'm going to go for, well, I don't want to go for Trick Room here. Um, I'm going to try attack into the Toxicroak. I'm going to Thunderbolt. I, I have a feeling he's, oh no, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, man. Um, flash Cannon won't do very much. Oh, well, to the Porygon, too. Yeah, I guess it will. Um, decent damage there. Decent damage there. Aegis Slash is a problem, but I can't really get... Well, I guess I could just overheat it. You know? Yeah, I'm just going to overheat it. I think that's probably my best play. Just get rid of it. You know? I wanted to get rid of Toxicroak first, but I have no I have nothing for the uh, Swampert at this point. So I, I, there's, there's just nothing I can do about that. Um, doesn't miss, it will connect, that should take it out no matter what. Ah, alright, alright. Yeah, I, I didn't play this, this ep episode pretty well. Uh, it just, I don't know, I didn't play it well enough. Um, he does go for Drain Punch as I predicted. Um, I mean, we're at negative two, so I don't know if we can even take out the Toxicroak, but it's dry skin, so we probably can, you know? Um, I'm gonna... Pfft, Swampert's probably gonna take me out. I'm gonna try attack the Swampert, maybe we can get a burn. I'm gonna overheat the Toxicroak. Um, that would be nice. My battery's dying, but I don't know if I really wanna... Yeah, I'll charge it. Episode may be close to over. Uh, no, he's just gonna go straight for Waterfall. I wonder if I can survive this. I doubt it. Nope. Not at all. Faster than I thought it would be. It must be Jolly. 
Um, and Drain Punch goes off. So that will be the game right there, right there. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, really do appreciate it. Apologize for the bad plays. Uh, days like that do happen, I guess. So thank you for watching.